I'm Andreas Ebert Karum. I'm a Scrum trainer for the Scrum Developer, Scrum Master, and Scrum Product Owner courses. And today I would like to show you a very handy tool to bring a little bit of variety to your retrospectives. So let's take a quick look on how to structure a retrospective. A retrospective can typically be structured into five phases. So you start with a, with a phase called set the stage. Everybody's checking in, saying something, getting warmed up to, uh, to the retrospective. Um, you close the retrospective uh, as well with some closing activity um, to, to summarize everything, to reflect what that was that time well spent. And then, since this is an empirical process, you have activities for these three major pillars of Scrum, so, or, or of uh, empirical processes, right? So we have transparency, inspection, and adaption, and you might guess um, these are the three activities that we have in a retro. Gather data, generate insights, and decide what to do. So now you might ask, so okay, we have this structure, but what kind of activities can I do? You probably know some typical ones like um, some quadrants or what worked well, what haven't so worked so well. Um, but there's so much more what you can do and this is the tool I would like to show you. So the tool is called Retromat and that's a handy little website which I show you here. And in this website you see different kind of activities for all of the five phases. Um, you can turn a wheel of fortune. If you want to be lucky, you can select and browse different activities for the different phases. You can bookmark your favorite plan for a certain uh, retrospective with your team. And um, this is a very handy little tool to know of just to get inspired by the uh, experiences from the fellow, fellow Scrum masters um, around the globe. Um, it's available in different languages, so if you're not so familiar with English, there's also activities in German, in Spanish, I think, and in French, and uh, more languages even. The, there are pictures with the activities to know how to structure a flip chart with it. There are descriptions with it. There, are, I think there are even user reviews. So it's a really great tool. Go check it out. It's the Retromat. And thanks to Corinna for doing that. See you in one of my next courses.